Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Get Your Shift Together. This is my second video. No one watched my first one. Lesson learned, I'm gonna make shorter videos. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start with like the basic principles of TMS theory um, and I'll keep the short. Uh, I'll try to keep it at like 15 minutes tops so that you can actually have a bit of an attention span because I know I would not be able to have an attention span for 40 minutes so I will keep my first video up there just in case anyone does want to see more of my story um it's it's a little rambly I agree <laughs> and uh whatever so video number two so tension my myositis syndrome this was a term coined by Dr. Sarno he um pretty much was a doctor an actual medical doctor and he noticed like a lot of people had back pain he was um, more into his practice like in the 80s and he tried to bring this TMS theory out in the 80s 90s and um, basically people who had back pain he noticed like they may or may not have a deviation in their spine and just because you have a deviation in your spine doesn't mean you actually need to have pain for it um, so what they ended up doing was I think they took a bunch of people who never had back pain at all Did some MRIs on their backs and some of them had worse herniations than people who had like the worst pain ever So pretty much with that he figured like there has to be more to pain than It just being a spy uh, like a physical defect or an abnormality um, because we all have abnormalities in our bodies and they're all normal abnormalities for the most part so there's no reason to have any pain if that's just how your physiology is so the way it works is your brain kind of picks a part of your body that you're going to believe it that that's your problem so it doesn't even have to be pain it could be like a chronic condition it could be ibs it could be anxiety it could be skin issues like eczema acne seasonal allergies that's all part of tms um and it's it's super interesting and like i even noticed my skin kind of got nicer once i started figuring this out so i mean this is definitely onto something um so yeah pretty much the number one thing is make sure you're cleared by your doctor before you even jump into this tms theory like just make sure there's nothing life-threatening going on and then if you have like an issue with pain and you've done all the medication you've potentially had surgery you might need surgery then this is this is for you um if you've tried everything you still have pain you need to get out of pain you don't know how to get out of pain because the medical community doesn't really listen to this. But first, make sure that you have nothing life-threatening happening. And then if so, then we're good to go. So the first thing is that the pain is 100% real. This whole thing is not to say that like the pain's in your head. The reason for the pain is in your head, but the pain is real. And it's actually been measured scientifically by a slight oxygen deprivation in the area where it hurts so it's definitely real it can be the worst pain ever like you know i mean i've been through it i had the worst pain ever and once i figured out that the cause for it was psychological i was offended <laughs> i was pissed off um but then i just decided like eh, whatever let's work with it let's see what happens let's do this work and see if there's anything true about this because whatever like what, what do i have to lose at this point i did it i'm out of pain now i am no longer suffering from chronic pain um if you need more of my story just watch the first video i mean maybe scroll into it a few minutes <laughs> to get to more of the point but uh, i might do another short video about it but as of right now that's all i have about my story and i'm not gonna get into it again because then this is gonna be another 40 minute video <laughs> that being said so the pain's real the reason for it is psychological and it's really difficult for us to wrap our heads around the fact that the pain is psychological how do i help you wrap your head around the fact that your pain is psychological well i'm gonna use an example from this week one of my coworkers actually had a headache at work and um she tends to get headaches a lot and I think she has like some kind of sciatica or something which is also a TMS equivalent and I gave her some resources. I told her like what app I used, I told her about Curable, I told her to look into jo Dr. John Sarno, I told her about the podcasts, um, both the pod all three podcasts, the Mind Body Mastery by Caitlin Michaels, the Cure for Chronic Pain by Nicole Sachs and the Curable podcasts as well uh, like Mind Like Body. Those are all great places to start and I would encourage anybody who is watching this video to 
look into those podcasts and listen to them because they're super helpful and they can help you wrap your head around all this stuff even more. Um, and they have a lot of stories as well of like people who have actually been able to recover from TMS. So it's great. Um, yeah, so pretty much the my coworker was having a headache. She didn't get around to doing anything on the list that I sent that I gave to her. Um, and she was complaining of a headache. And I, I, I just said, like, did you, did you do anything on the list? And she said, no, I haven't had time. And I get it, <laughs> I get it. So I said, okay, you know what? If you want me to do like a little crash course right now and give you some information right now, it actually might help with your headache. I mean, I don't know if it will. It might, if you're receptive to it. So she agreed. And I pretty much told her that um, the pain is psychological, even though it's hard to wrap your head around it. And um, basically, to make this work for you, you need to understand what pain is. Pain is a, is a neurological response from your brain telling your body that you're in danger. So this is a necessary trait to have as a human being, evolutionary-wise, and like even today. If you're getting chased by like a wild animal or a wild animal is biting you, or you see like, I don't know, a grizzly bear or something, you're not gonna go up to it and give it a hug, you're gonna run. So that's like the whole flight or fight thing and pretty much like if you burn yourself like you're gonna start feeling pain like if you have your hand on the hot stove your brain's going to tell you you're in danger and you need to not have your hand where it is because you could die <laughs> so that's pretty much it like it's pretty much your brain thinks we're gonna die oh my god like that's why there's pain so basically the negative repressed emotions that we have from very early in life. I have no idea what's going on with the lighting on my camera right now, but you're gonna have to deal with it. Um, well, that looks really weird. Anyways, the emotions that you've had early in life that caused you to have pain today, where did those emotions go? If you never really had a chance to express them, if, and it could, like, it's, our parents were all well-meaning, right? Like, you're out in public, you're throwing a tantrum, your parents want you to be quiet, it's well-meaning, like they're teaching you how to function in society. So you didn't necessarily have to have a completely screwed up childhood to have TMS. Like you could have had a totally normal childhood and you lost your security blanket and that made you feel really sad and you were scared and you didn't know what you were gonna do. And then like, you know, someone told you to get over it, like suck it up buttercup and you repressed it and you learned how to repress. So that's basically it. So then when you repress those feelings, where do they go? And then they stay in your body forever until you get them out of your body. And I'm gonna tell you how to do that. Um, but basically my coworker was in pain, she had a headache. I briefly explained all this to her, like in probably as much detail as I just did just now. And I pretty much told her just to think about her pain and think about having a conversation with your brain as ridiculous as that might sound, that this is completely unnecessary. This pain that you're feeling, you don't need it right now. There's nothing that is going to attack you. Like she was in a cubicle at the time. Like there is no wild animal. There is no like threat of anything. Like you're just at work. And I mean, work's not necessarily the most pleasant place to be for some people. So it totally makes sense that after a hard day of work, you come home and you have a headache for the rest of the night and you feel like shit for the rest of the night. So it, it's no wonder that you could get a headache at work for apparently no reason, right? It's your repressed thoughts about like how much you don't like your workplace or somebody pissed you off yesterday or just all this repressed stuff from childhood. It could be any of that and it really doesn't matter what it is. All that matters is that you acknowledge whatever the heck it is and that's going to make your headache go away. So I told her have a conversation with your brain as weird as that sounds, just do it. You have nothing to lose like just do it for five minutes see what happens and try and think of what's upsetting you and it could literally be anything like just just try and like i like to think of it as an onion like just layers of emotion think about like what it is that you're actually feeling right now why are you feeling it and it could literally be anything like i'm mad at this person i'm mad at that person i'm still mad at my mom from 30 years ago I'm still mad at my dad, I'm still mad at like my sister, anything. It could be anything. And once you identify what it is, then you can start thinking like, okay, so this is the situation. How does this situation make me feel? 
And then you identify how that makes you feel. Like, am I angry about it? Am I sad about it? Am I fearful of it? Am I ashamed? Am I just like angry? It could be anything. Um, and then think, so if it's like, for example, um, I don't know, your, your boss got mad at you. This is, I, I have no idea what my coworker was going through, but this is just an example I'm just making up right now. Your boss got mad at you for something and then you get a headache and you could connect that to your childhood. Maybe you had a teacher that got mad at you and yelled at you when you were a child and then you got made fun of from your classmates for crying and now you carry like a shame anytime somebody gets mad at you or yells at you or whatever. So just kind of peeling that layer of making that connection and then allowing yourself to feel ashamed or scared or angry or humiliated or whatever, just feel it. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you when you feel it, but your brain is protecting you. Your brain is trying to make you think that if we feel these feelings that we have repressed for such a long time, we're gonna die, but you're not. <laughs> so basically you just have to remind your nervous system, we're good, like we are fine, we're not under like attack from anything. There is no like stingray biting me. There's nothing that I need to flee from at this time. And therefore there is no reason whatsoever for me to be feeling any pain right now. And funny enough, about an hour after I told my coworker like how to think about her pain, I asked her, I'm like, how's your headache? And she's like, it's actually gone. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? And she's like, no, like it's gone. I'm like, wow. And she's like, and I like, I know her like relatively well. Like she wouldn't just say it's better just to make me happy. It actually was better. So I was like, holy shit. Like I can seriously help people. <laughs> so I hope this works. If you're having a headache right now and you're finished watching this video, try and think of that. Let me know how it goes. Feel free to comment. Um, feel free to check out my Instagram and uh, message me if you want. It's called Let's Get Your Shift Together. And uh, if you want to set up any life coaching for your chronic pain with me, uh, send me an email at uh, let's get your shift together at gmail.com. I also have a website, let's get your shift together.com. My, my website's still pretty amateur right now because I've never made a website before. So there's a lot of things that are missing, but I am working on it, obviously. But I want to start helping people now. So if you think I can help you now, feel free to contact me and don't be scared of how um, like not professional my website looks just yet. It'll get better. Um, I've only had it for like a week, so give me a break. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm probably gonna make another video right now about something else related to TMS, but I'm going to split everything up so that, uh, you know, your attention span can handle it because I know mine would not be able to if I was watching an hour of me talking. <laughs> so. Talk to you guys soon.